This is Chris with Gun and Shot TV, and today I am lubing some bullets. Now these are bullets I cast, so they're not necessarily exactly all the right size. And they also need some lubrication. If you look at what I've already done, you can see there's grease in these grooves. And what that does is it keeps fouling out of the barrel and lubricates the bullet as it goes down the barrel. Um, this is a Lyman 45 lubricizer. They've updated this design about two, three times. Um, this is probably from the 50s. I was given it at a garage sale by a nice lady. She's like, that's something to do with gun stuff. I have no idea it was my husband's. If you want it, you can have it. Um, with a bucket with a bunch of other reloading stuff. So it was awesome. Um, it actually, it had a 357 die in it. Um, and the die is the part that actually operates. Um, but 358 is actually the size you probably want to use for most 357 revolvers, so I had to buy a replacement die. But that's this piece, and you can get these for almost any caliber bullet um, and uh, just swap it in there with this little screw. It was full of old NRA formula, which was beeswax and alox. I made up my own um, out of Vaseline, um, paraffin, and uh, a little bit of molly lube. I think it's something like 30% Vaseline to 70% paraffin with some some of the molly lube that you get in a tube from the auto section. Um, it's a lithium grease with a bunch of molly in it. So it actually works pretty good. I've tried it and it seems to really stop wetting. So anyways, what you do is you put your unsized bullet in here and the ram pushes it down to where there's some holes and then you turn this top lever and it causes grease to pump in and then you lift it out. Let me real quick show you how it works. Um, and you can put some tension on this, build up a little pressure because the ram keeps the grease from spraying until there's a bullet down there. So you're just going to take your unsized bullet, put it in there, crank it down, put a little bit more tension on there, pop it up and there you go. So here's a unlube bullet. You can see there's the grease grooves that have nothing in them. Um, put it in the lubricizer, push it down, and now squeezes it to exactly the right size or swages the bullet. And then when you lift it up, it should have grease in all those grooves. I'm not using gas checks, so I'm just kind of scraping the, the lube out of that bottom indent so it doesn't get in and follow the powder. I'm not actually pushing them to a velocity where it really matters. Um, and even if I was, these are actually linotype, and then they're water cr water quenched, um, something like four to one linotype. So they're actually decently hard. I could use them without gas checks, and it wouldn't be a problem. Um, I wish I had noticed the mold was a gas check mold, but we don't always <laughs> pay attention when we're ordering things. So, and there's another one. The only thing I actually had to buy besides the proper size die was one of these wrenches. Um, they shipped with something, not ratcheting, but it had been lost somewhere in the ages. So Harbor Freight had a little offset screwdriver, whatever, kit for three bucks or something. And I just took the piece out. It fits perfect, ratchets, reversible. So if you need one, that's what I would recommend. But like I said, once, once you get it all set, you just put a little bit of tension on there. Pop her up, and now it's all greased and good to go. So, For those of you who want to run a lubricizer and don't have a workbench, what I actually did is I just got a piece of scrap 2x4 and a couple clamps, and I just screw it on and leave it overhanging. you got to make sure you clamp on one half of each leaf. If there's multiple leaves, or else the table will be too wobbly. But, uh... I've lubricized probably 500 to 1,000 bullets, and no problems. It works pretty well. So if you don't have space for a loading bench, it doesn't mean you can't reload. 